It was fun, yeah. Yeah, once we got off without an injury, so I think that was my most important thing was getting off the pitch without being on crutches. So yeah, we're quite happy with that. Big pitch, yeah. Big pitch, yeah. Big pitch. But it's a good cause and it's it's great to see all the lads that I've not seen for a long time and you no know, old friends. So it's for a good charity, good cause. We get to play at Old Trafford probably the last time we'll ever get a chance to do that. I won't be playing again. <laughs> and um yeah, it was nice and obviously go for a drink with the lads now and, and catch up. I think you've been asked to the current United. Yeah. You've been a member of a very successful United team in the past. Yeah. From your perspective, and you've worked here as well, obviously, what's it going to take to get this team back to, to where it belongs and should be? Uh, it's it's going to take a long. No, it's going to take a long time, and I think uh, obviously any big Man United fan are lying if they think they're going to be challenging for the the Premier League this year. They're not, and the managers um, put a squad together that's going to have to get together and, and learn a way of playing and be successful, and that's going to take time. And the the people upstairs have brought in new people at the you know hierarchy into that sporting directors, head of football. And one thing they are, they brought in specialists in their in their field, so that's a good start. And if we do that and be patient, then hopefully we'll get success. But you know, it, it, we're way off Man City and, and winning the football league now. Uh, sorry, the Premier League now. So um, people who say that we should be challenging the dreaming really. Yeah, I mean, do you think the changes that have been made uh, policy is a positive thing because it's also saying against specialists people, it's going to be a long time. Project. Yeah, I think it's definitely a positive thing. I think I think we're probably the only big football club in the world that didn't have a sporting director, didn't have certain things in, in place, but now we have. So hopefully there's no excuses, but it will take time. It's not, it's, you might just put a squad together. You can't expect them to go on a football pitch and be dominant and play a, a certain way. So um, he's going to have to take his, we've got to take our time and, and be a bit patient, but how long that's going to take, I don't know. And it's been a kind of revolving door of managers in the Yeah. I mean, that's not healthy for a club, is it? Do you believe that they should, you know, there is, there is a man under the, the trigger his contract? Yeah. Yeah. Well, I think if they give him an extension and they kept him on, they've got to give him time. Otherwise, get rid of him in the summer. No, it's madness to get rid of him in November, December, January, because unless they've got someone waiting, which obviously, quite obviously they haven't, or they've done it in the summer. So um, they've got to stand by him, they've got to give him a bit of time and um, hopefully get it right over the next you know, few months. Much harder is it, obviously, seeing City as a United fan, and other United fans from well, seeing City and, and Liverpool yeah. when, when you know, kind of... Yeah, it's not, obviously it's not easy being a Man United fan and seeing the success that they're having, but you just got to hold your hands up. They're both very good teams, they've got great squads, good managers. And um, you can only really applaud them, really, um, through gritted teeth. <laughs> uh, but yeah, they're, they're both amazing football teams and squads, and, and they do they play football the right way. Cool to be back out there today with a teammate. Yeah, it's good, um, enjoyable with the lads, um, seeing everybody, see, yeah. um, seeing everybody that I've not seen for a while. Um, so it was nice to see them all and catch up, enjoyed it. There was a moment out there where you won the ball, the refs giving a foul. <laughs> see Scolzi having a go at him, everyone's having a go at him. You've you not lost that, have you? I just got caught, told that. I didn't see they fall over or something as well, Scolzi. <laughs> I didn't see it, no. So, uh, yeah, so it was, I'll, I'll rewatch it, have a look. Yeah, it did, it, did look, it did look like you got the ball. Um, how does it feel to be back out there at Old Trafford though, with the fans? You kind of just mentioned it could be your last time pulling the boots on out there. You never know when that will be. Still bring back the, the, the emotion? Yeah, it's great, isn't it, to go out there and play football. Uh, it's what you dreamed about when you were a kid and I even know we're at a certain age now. Um, it's still great to go out onto that pitch and, and play football and play with your mates. It's, it's, it's extra special. I don't want to get into the negativity of this season so far. I want to talk positive. Kabi Maino. He's an unreal player in that midfield. He's got, you know, he plays with wing mirrors on at times. Great touch, got ability to score a goal. What have you made of him and watching his development? Yeah, he's a top player. I've um, known him a long time since he was a kid. Um, one thing he's got, he's got an amazing um, temperament for a young young man. Um, great ability, great feet. Um, he's got it all really and obviously he's, um, he'll be a very wanted man. You joined Monkey Devil with a lot of pressure too. And you were around at a time where you two were banding. How was that? Um, how do you overcome that pressure as a Manchester United goalkeeper? Because obviously now, uh, Andrew Ronaldo, he's put it and he's facing a lot of pressure. It's his first season. Yeah. Um, this is the I think, I think Onana has come back a little bit from a difficult start, and now he's doing uh, a lot better. But it's um, there's there's no. Uh, magic formula to overcome that pressure that is the job the job is to handle that pressure so so um, if you can't do it or if you won't do it the job is not yeah, for you no, it's up. Yeah, do you think like Jack Collins for him yeah I think uh, I think we need to play to his attributes which is passing with his feet if uh, if we get that all um, if we are successful in doing that, he will be one of the best goalkeepers. Team of Brazil. I'm sure. I'm sure. Great, thank you. And then just one more little one. Um, just a little game. Uh, no, I don't want to play a game. And I, no, sorry.
Um, yeah, just kind of, how's it feel to be back out there for Manchester United wearing the shirt with the fans out there as well? Feeling good? Yeah, it makes me very proud. I was very proud being a part of Manchester United when I was here. It was um, the greatest achievement of my life and coming back again is just a privilege. I miss Old Trafford. It's the best stadium for me. I'm a lifelong United supporter, so so being back and being allowed for another dance in the, in the Theatre of Dreams is just amazing. One last dance. You mentioned like being a fan of the club. How did that feel then combined with, you know, when you were playing freshly for United and the weight of the shirt and everything? How, how do you balance that feeling of being a fan and also this is my job? Uh, it's different. You know, it's, uh, I'm sure you can have, um, I'm sure you could have uh, Manchester United fans work in Manchester City Department administration or something like that. So it's, it's a, so the job is just a job. You've got to go and deal with it. And back in Manchester now, do you have a favourite place to go in your downtime, like a restaurant or an area? Uh, not specifically. I have different places, so uh, that's not wrong. But, you know, that was a long time ago. Yeah. Manchester's changed. Uh, there are a lot of buildings. Yeah. And, um, yeah, it's getting massive. Thank you. Thank you. Raymond, pleasure to meet you. Um, Raymond, how did it feel to be back out there with a Manchester United badge on your chest with the fans in the crowd today? Uh, I felt fantastic. It was really good. It felt a little bit like the old times. Of course, the stadium was not sold out, of course, but uh, you know why you are here, why you are doing this, and it's for the Manchester United Foundation. Yeah. So uh, that felt really great. It must be crazy. You must turn up here into these events and everyone's like taking it easy and always someone will take it seriously. Who was taking it too seriously today? Uh, I, I don't think that uh, anybody was taking it too serious, yeah. but uh, you know the winning mentality from all the players are still there, and that's it. that's exactly what you see. You never lose that kind of kind of because we saw there was a few things where Nicky Bot wins the ball, scores as a goal. Yeah, correct. Uh, you can see in the last minute, Paul scores the uh, slide to the ball as well, had a tackle. So it's it's still there. It's it's just you know the character of the players don't change. How, how is it playing? Like, do you feel the weight of the shirt, the weight of the pressure, the stadium and stuff when you're playing for Manchester United? Uh, I don't, don't feel the pressure. I feel the, 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 the pleasure. Yeah. yeah. It's just great to play for Man United. Would you have any tips for someone like Andre Onana in dealing with that pressure? Um, he can come to me. I, I, will, <laughs> I will speak to him. Yeah. A yeah. <laughs> little bit of private coaching. You're not going to give it away for free. No, no problem. I know him a little bit because he played in Holland and I spoke with him also. But uh, no, Andre is okay. Raymond, we relived the 99 uh, season with the documentary and stuff. How was it watching all that back for you? Ah, the, then all the memories are coming back. And, you know, if you win something and it is something special, like what happened in 1999, then uh, it feels great. Which of these players that maybe didn't play in 99 do you think could have played for that team? The likes of Wayne Rooney were out there today. And is there anyone that you wish you could have played with? Yeah, Rooney is one of them, of course. Yeah, yes. yeah. But uh, I think uh, I was lucky at, at a certain time that I was playing with great players. Ronnie, back out there at Old Trafford today, wearing the shirt, fans in the stadium. How's it feeling? It's always great to go out there. It's uh, and say thank you to all the fans who came out to see us, and uh, it's for a good course. So it's uh, but for us, it's uh, always nice to go out in uh, Old Trafford. It's getting better, better, but uh, the beach is getting bigger. Must be. <laughs> <laughs> How are you feeling now? You feel, you, you feel a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> the pitch is big, that's for sure. Uh, but it's nice, you know. It's in front of the the crowd, and uh, and it was for a good course. So yeah. what was it like being back in the dressing room with some of these lads? Because it must have been a while since you've been around. Yeah, it's it's uh, but you you know there's a few that you haven't seen that often, of course, because they played you know yeah separate times, and but you get to know each other, and it does go really quick. It's uh, when you're in the changing room, and uh, and uh, you know the atmosphere is there, you get to know everybody very well, really quick. So that's good. You know about all the pressures of playing centre back for Manchester United. We brought in a few new centre backs this season. Um, if you could give them any advice, any tips on adjusting to life at Manchester United, what would they be? Oh, that's uh, <laughs> is that the answer? Oh yeah, well, no, nah, it's not. Uh, I, th I think first of all, it's uh, to get the partnerships going, to get to know each other, uh, in and out, you know, on the field, out on the field, uh, off the field, because. Uh, you need to know how your partner is reacting to, to every situation. So if you do that 
and that's also the, you know, when, when you play a few games together and you have you know don't get any in, any injuries or just so I think they will they they know that so they will uh, if they get to know each other their partnership will be really good. Um, the documentary, the '99 um, movie, came out recently. How was it, kind of reliving all those moments and going through that year all over? Oh no, it's uh, it's. I think everybody was uh, felt a little bit different. Uh, me as a player. Uh, Any tears? Yeah, yeah, yeah. But but the thing is, uh, it, it, it took a little bit while to get back in that because me as a player at uh, that time, I was always like forgetting about the games I played. You know, everything about the game I try to forget just to don't don't want, want me to uh, infect me in such a way so for me I was like I have to re I have to go through everything to just try to remember uh, but it was nice I have to say it was really nice to kind of watch it back because I can imagine as a fan I was 10 years old and I was going mental but as someone that played it and went through it you, it must be easy to kind of miss moments and forget moments so did, did, was it great to kind of relive things that, 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 that yeah that's what it was it actually it was really nice to also for me Probably the best was to hear the other lads' story, uh, how they felt and how they re uh, well felt in that moment, uh, going into it and all around. Yeah. So for me, it was really interesting uh, to hear the other guy's story. So it's, uh, that was the most beautiful thing for me. One last question: While we're on 99, I've got a mission to get my dad's shirt signed by all the players. Would you be happy to put your signature on it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Amazing, thank you. <laughs> I've got quite a few on there already. Oh, yeah, yeah, you have. I see. All right. Thank you. Sorry. Thanks. Sing it. Sing it. <laughs> <laughs> nice one, Ronnie. I appreciate Thanks. it, man. Cheers, thank man. you. Cheers,